Hi everybody, this is Brian Pittman for Caterpillar Incorporated. I'm coming to you today uh, out one of the shops where one of our vendors uh, is located in Peoria area and uh, they make most of our uh, grinding discs, stones, sandpaper, uh, just about everything that, uh, that we sell to uh, the dealers out there. And uh, we're going to talk about a few of those products today. And uh, by the way, if there's anything here that you want to know more about, you can go out to cattoolsandsupplies.com. Uh, we have all that information out there, and uh, it's readily available for you. So we're going to talk today about uh, grinding wheels, mounted stones, pedestal wheels, cones, things like that. Um, three things real quick. Safety glasses. Earplugs, face shield, gloves, any of these you can use to protect yourself. So keep those around, keep them handy, and use them and stay safe. Now today, we're not running equipment, so I don't have my ear protection in. All I do is have my eye protection because I am in an uh, environment here that uh, something could happen. So let's just talk a little bit about things. Here we've got your... Uh, this is a bench grinding wheel right here. Everybody sees those. Uh, most shops have a grinder in there, and, and this is what you see. You can do a lot of dressing with these type of things. Um, this bad boy right here, um, this is actually made out of uh, zirconium. What do we call this again? It's a type 11 bell wheel. Type 11 bell wheel. And uh, the other thing I do want to talk about is on almost all of this stuff, you're going to see the proper RPM level to run these at. And that's very important, okay? And I'll touch on that again here in just a few moments. Um, these things are, and, and the one thing you got to remember, if, if I was to drop this, it might break or it might get jagged, then you could have a problem. So handle these very carefully. Don't drop them. If you do, um, you better check with someone to make sure that they would be safe to use again afterwards, okay? High-performance grinding wheels. These bad boys are made out of zirconium and uh, naturally they fit on a grinder. You can really knock some material down with these things. Uh, these run at 8,500 RPMs. Make sure that the grinder that you're using is uh, compatible with that. Uh, you don't want to run a grinder that's low. It won't work. Uh, if you run it too high, you could have a real problem. Um, here we go. Here's another one. This is a Type 27, and you can see your big, uh, big mandrel that's built into it. Um, these bad boys are also aluminum oxide and they run at 6600 and then of course you've got various other sizes here same type situation um, if you look at those things they're very aggressive you can take a lot of metal off and once again they've got the uh, this this whole area here is built right into it so you don't have to have any type of outside mandrel or holder or anything else built right into it and then of course then you've got your small ones here uh, these small ones are also made out of zirconium but they spend 15,300 and they go on like a four and a half incher now, here's something that we've had some problems with in the past because people didn't know what they had. Um, these bad boys right here, mounted stones, they are not marked. It's one of the very few uh, abrasives that is not marked. However, you will always have a safety guide from Caterpillar in the box for this type of product, okay? If this is not around, you need to find this and make sure it matches up to this, matches up to the box so you know you've got the right thing. Otherwise, you have no idea what you can spin these things at, and if you spin them too high, you can get hurt. So if you've got some of these and you're not sure, throw them in the trash. You know, why take a chance? So anyway, that's about all I have today on these products. Uh, remember, spin them at the right RPM that matches your tool face guard, safety glasses, hearing protection, uh, gloves, it all, you know, it can all protect you and also be courteous of the people that are around you. Make sure that they're back away from you a little bit or put up some guards because sometimes you just never know you can get some flying particles that might hit them. So anyway, that's all I have today. If you've got any questions, uh, drop us a line at cattoolsandsupplies.com and we'll be more than happy to answer your questions for you, okay? So this is Brian Pittman for Caterpillar. Um, I want you all to stay safe out there and we'll talk to you soon, okay? Bye-bye.